welcome to the white stuff. Yes. I tell you, it's, it is a miracle I'm here and that you can see me. It's uh, the 2nd of February. We hope you're enjoying skiving off, you lazy so and so. A bit of snow and it's, I can't make it to work today. Why couldn't you walk in for an hour as I did? And indeed, as our team, the lady who's doing this camera that you can see me through, she normally does auto cue. The guy that normally whispers in my ear and tells me what to say if I can't think of anything, he's doing auto cue. Everyone's covering <laughs> for everybody. The audience is, is frankly decimated. But hey, we're here and it's great to have you with us. <laughs> hey, look at this. People, there's a lady in the front row, lady in the front row with the red jumper. She has come by plane, not quite plane, train, automobile, hitchhiking. It's wow. extraordinary. And if you're wondering why it snowed so heavily last night, blame the Russians. <laughs> That's what they say. Russian winds coming in from the east have given us the most snow we've seen in the south here for six years. Uh, and by a remarkable coincidence, today is also Groundhog Day. <laughs> At uh, 12.25, Phil the Groundhog will poke his nose out of a tree stump in Gobbler's Knob near Pittsburgh. Uh, and if he doesn't see his shadow, it means winter's almost over. But hey, experts are predicting he will. And that will mean six more weeks of bad weather. Hurrah, I hear you cry. No more work for the next month and a bit. I wouldn't bet on it. Phil the Groundhog's only been right 39% of the time.